What? What's happening? Welcome to Physics 11.4. This is actually 11.4B. I already covered 11.4A in the... Anyways, back to what I was saying. This is 11.4B. B. All right, there it goes. Okay, it's a little slow today. It's Friday. We just got to relax. It's Friday. All right. Uh, anyways, so on this part, we're actually going to go through lenses. So we already went through mirrors, at least concave mirrors. But now we're going to go through lenses. And there's two types of lenses that we're going to talk about. The first is convex, and convex is going to be uh, numero uno in our book. But we do it basically the same way. So, first things first, we're going to draw in our operational line. Boop. Then, we're going to start at the top of our object. In this case, it's this uh, really nice candle. And draw a line straight to the center of the lens. But because it's a lens, it doesn't reflect the light. It allows the light to transmit through it. So transmit that light ray. Uh, step. So I guess technically it's the same step. But you're going to backtrack on that. So. There you go. And then you're going to draw another ray to the operational line. Yay, operational line. Then from there, you go through the focal points. Now on this particular image, you need to backtrack again. There you go. The points where these intersect is the top of our image. And then for our bottom, we draw one more ray through the lens. And since it doesn't intersect over here, we have to trace it back. And that's our bottom. So then our image. is virtual because we have dashed lines intersecting and it's larger. Right? Big candle, little candle. I'm so much bigger than you. <laughs> Alright, now let's talk about concave lenses. These are done the same way as our mirrors and our convex lenses um, with one little slight difference and that is they are diverging. So we'll talk about what that means. It means it's going away from the focal point on this side. Uh, all right, so operational line. And I'm going to use blue for Blu-ray. I got that joke. You probably didn't. It's just way too witty. All right, right through the center there. Remember, light goes through lenses. Next ray goes right to the operational line. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So it's not, the light actually diverges at this point, so it moves away. So in order to find out what angle it diverges through, we have to draw our virtual line through the focal point on this side and extend our real line this way. So these two are never going to meet. Our real lines are never going to meet, but our virtual lines do. And then um, our feet. I'm going to be over here. So our image This little baby candle like that. Look, it's so cute. Aw, hi, baby candle. Uh, 
So it is virtual, it is smaller, and it is erect or upright. Uh, let's see, one practice problem. We have a convex and a concave lens. Let's do the convex here. So we already have our operational line. So let's draw our ray through our lens. And then we have the eye looking, watching to see what's going on. Backtrack that just in case. Oops, lunch is over. Sorry about that. Uh, then we're going to draw a line to the operational line. There. That goes through the focal point over here. And then we need to backtrack with our optical lines over here. As far as the bottom goes, that goes through the lens there and backtracks over there. So our image is virtual and da -da -da -da, upright and much, much larger. There we go. All right, that concludes today's notes. I will talk to you later. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. I don't care. Goodbye.